Hey guys, I'm going to go over my favorite speculation right now, and I actually have to figure out where the other cards went. Uh, but my favorite speculation is very simple. It is a card that I feel like right now at 20 bucks, and it should go down a little bit more. But even if it does go down, it's just fantastic value. It's hard for me to understand. It's hard for me to see this card below like 15 bucks ever. And of course, it is Thoughtseize. I'll be talking about the Path to Exiles a little later and stuff like that. Okay, so that is my trade binder. Thoughtseize is a card that is very, very domin not dominant in Legacy. It is dominant in Modern, and it, for its short period in Standard right now, it will be dominant. It will see massive amounts of play. It is a card that is highly regarded. I love the card. Before it was reprinted, the card was $60 to $80, if I'm not mistaken. It was that good of a card. Now at $20, bucks, it's an interesting speculation, mainly because what else is in this set? What else is in the block? So if you got uh, Pharaoh's um, Journey into Nyx, and then the other one I'm forgetting, what cards in that set are valuable? Course are crucifix no prophet crucifix no any of the gods maybe like maybe and I say that hesitantly because they're only valuable casually when I talk about valuable I talk about played as in a whole playset you might say brimaz even something like Elspeth is not strong enough for modern it never was and it would never be so when you talk about cards in that whole block. A whole rotating block. There's only one card, Thought Seize. And that puts Thought Seize in a commanding, commanding position to spike crazy in price. And when you look at it and you see how powerful it is, if you've ever played it in standard, you've ever played it in modern, you have a very clear understanding of why it's so good. You for two life you are taking away their best card or the one card that can stop you or the sideboard hate that it's going to shut you down. So a modern, it's going to see play. It already sees tremendous amount of tremendous amounts of play and legacy the same deal. But uh, to refocus the anal, you know, analyzing this particular card, it is like it is like voice of resurgence except times a whole block. That entire block sucked, value-wise, long-term value-wise. You don't have any Fetch lands, you don't have any Shock lands, you don't have... I mean, it was the set between the Shock lands and the Fetch lands, which is a disaster for value. The Storm Breath Dragon is like five bucks now, the Corsair Crucifix is five bucks now or less. None of those other... Brimaz is... who knows what Brimaz is at right now, you never saw play ever. A lot of those cards, Elspeth, not going to see play modern or not extensive play and definitely not as a four of. Thoughtseize is the one and only card I can think of of that entire block that I would want to start picking up today. And the reason that you need to pick it up starting today and getting at least a play set, very, very simple. People are not stupid. They are going to realize that, hey, this card is pretty good and I probably need this card in modern. So they're either going to keep their own play sets or they're going to try to trade cheaply into a play set. And just like what I said about the Shocklands, yeah, they went down. They did go down. But the volume of it also went down. So although the price went down, the volume of it at your local store goes down as well. So I'm starting to pick these up as fast as I can. I would not mind having, I don't mind picking them up at 20. I don't mind picking them up at 15. I don't expect them to drop below 15, but if they hit below 15, then yeah, I'll pick up even more. This is one of the, in my opinion, best speculations after, when rotation hits. No other card I can imagine in this particular set will retain its value like this card. And at the end of the day, I mean, it is a modern staple. Like it's a modern four of staple. I name me one other card that's worth some money. So not like a common or uncommon. That's worth some money right now that you feel like will be a staple and modern. 
as a four of from Pharaoh's Journey to Nyx and then the other set I'm blanking on right now. Better than Dot C's. I don't think there is one. So Dot C's used to be a $60, $80 card. Could I see it at $40? Yes. Can I see it at $25, which I believe Abrupt Decay is at right now? Yes. I can see it way past Abrupt Decay. Um, this card, given the same time span, as Abrupt Decay, assuming no reprints, and this card is very difficult to reprint. Will, should continue to go up and up and up in price until eventually reaches at least 25. If nothing happens reprint wise, it will eventually reach $40. I'm very certain, there's very few certainties in MTG Finance, but Thought Seize being the best card in that block is a certainty. That I can tell you straight up, I do not see any card in that entire block having the potential as a Doxies. Now, yes, they will get cheaper, obviously, like the Shocklands, but if you don't have your playset right now, you don't want to be looking for them like the Snaps and the Lilianas and, you know, then like you're, if you didn't get Snaps back when they were $15, you're looking at them and saying, oh, it's like 80, 90, 100 bucks now. What's going on, right? Anyway, Doxies. Incredibly potent card. I love it to death. And uh, this version is obviously the better version. I feel like this is uh, $30 instead of 20, but definitely worth it in my opinion.